Hello to my astro geeks and gene key freaks. Welcome back. This is my third video on Cat Williams. Something that I missed that I have to bring up is that Lilith is in Virgo. And remember I told you that Cat Williams has a lot of Virgo energy. He has his sun and moon right together at nine and 10 degrees. And with Lilith combined with Venus in his first house, according to this birthday information, Lilith is actually evoking pleasure and the ability for him to create chaos but also harmony at the same time but get this let's look at Kevin Hart's chart this is Kevin Hart's chart according to the birthday on astrotheme.com he also has Virgo placements but instead of Venus we see Saturn okay now him and Kat both have planets at nine and 10 degrees Virgo, but they're different planets. I feel like the astrology is showing us that they are destined to be crossing paths. And at this very moment with Lilith going through Virgo and basically being on top of both of their personal charts, <laughs> Kevin Hart has got the North node of destiny at this position, guys. He's destined to be facing his dark sided energies and cat williams venus on top of this is having so much pleasure about it so the question is are we in petty city or nah that's the question why because lilith brings out the dark side of the zodiac sign that it's in and lilith in virgo is bringing out the dark side of virgo which truly is hyper criticism and petty ish and when i first looked at this i was like wait a second kevin hart's ex-wife reveals she's joining cat williams on tour are you kidding me has cat williams reached a level of pettiness or has he actually reached a level of resolution because when I dig deeper and research, I actually find that Kevin Hart's ex-wife may actually have been one of his main writers on his come up to success. And if that's the case, it's very possible that Kevin Hart cheated on his ex-wife, rose to success, and what did he give her? This is starting to sound like the movie Acrimony. <laughs> Y'all know what movie I'm talking about with Taraji P. Henson, where she plays the girl who sticks with the guy, even though he actually actually didn't do her too well. But he struggles, then he makes it, and then he leaves her for another woman. Is that what Kevin Hart did to his ex-wife? Did she literally write for him and make him be the funny guy that everyone knows Kevin Hart to be? And then he just ditched her. I know you guys are probably saying, girl, where is the astrology in all of this? Hold on, hold on. I'm getting to that. Kevin Hart's ex-wife just announced that she will go on tour with Cat Williams. After this huge interview that set Cat ablaze, all of his prices are going up. Anybody who invites Cat Williams to an interview is going to need to probably pay a good penny, right? And this tour is probably going to be like Beyonce level tickets, guys. If it's true that Kevin Hart's ex-wife actually was the true writer and the true comedian behind Kevin Hart. This is not as petty as we might think. This actually seems to be a resolution. And if you saw my first video on Cat Williams, I brought about his Gene Keys life's work which is the gift of resolution to resolve things if cat williams is truly standing in his life's work he is resolving something for someone who was unfortunately truly not given her chance to shine so time will probably tell if this tour ends up being actually really good if the writing if the performance is truly just exceptionally on excellence funny that this is this is not petty at all this is actually cat williams writing the wrongs of someone else now let's look at the astrology lilith in virgo creates the need for someone to overcome really bad karma of indentured servitude people who don't like acknowledge the people who worked for them 
okay and so there's a lot that comes with love and virgo shadow not just pettiness it comes with that need for you to honor people who are service workers and I really feel like Cat Williams, either he knows the astrology or he's just aligned to it with Lilith combined with his Venus. In his interview, he even said when he talked about work and the gardener, he doesn't respect people who say they work hard in the industry because a gardener works hard, too. So he really is seeming to to want to give acknowledgement to people who are in service, in my opinion. That's how it looks like to me. And that really is evoking Lilith in a way where the dark feminine is actually being used for for something that actually brings things to order for I want to say goodness I'm kind of fighting with the word good but towards the light the dark and the light meeting together in a lot of ways which is some really masterful alchemy shit okay back to the sinistry when we're looking at Lilith and Saturn we're looking at karma and it's very possible that Kevin Hart could have had a monumental moment. Kevin Hart could have had a monumental moment if he had actually done the right thing by Lilith. Now, granted, the right thing by Saturn, I can't say Kevin Hart didn't work hard. He probably worked very hard. That's actually what Cat Williams is saying. Hard work, everybody's working hard. But the the inclusion of Lilith in this basically this astrological formula says well on your way up to working hard how well did you treat the people who supported you how well did you treat the people who served you and that my friends I think is where we're seeing manifested with Lilith on top of Kevin Hart's Saturn is that she is bringing she the dark feminine of chaos is bringing out the fact that's quite possible that Kevin Hart actually did his ex-wife dirty when she was the one who actually supported him on his way up and so Lilith will take you right and and take what you are great at when you have Saturn combined Kevin Hart's Saturn combined with Lilith She's saying, wait, you guys missed a blind spot here. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, you might love him. Yeah, he's getting these movie spots. Yeah, he's known reputation, Saturn, as a as this great comedian. But there is a blind spot that you're missing. And the energy of Lilith is very much so the dark side of the moon. We can't always see it. And this is why Lilith's transit is important to watch because Lilith, too, like other planets, even though Lilith is not a planet, will bring out the hidden nature of certain things and basically right the wrongs and wrong the rights. Lilith can bring chaos in order to bring light. And Lilith can also bring darkness to what you thought was something that should be in the light. Now, I want to give grace to Kevin Hart. There's always a way to come back from this. And when it comes to this little transit, if Kevin Hart was to watch this reading, I would tell him that he needs to have integrity and he needs to right his wrongs of what he has done to the women in his life and specifically his ex-wife. Otherwise, the cat is out the bag and Cat Williams not only is a superhero, but he has turned into beast mode. See you guys in the next video.